It's so good for everyone to get up on their feet and dance, it's perfect. Really enjoyed it, I thought the music was excellent, a great storyline, great bounce and great atmosphere. And it made us all, the crowd, stand up and have a good time. Oh, just the energy, the atmosphere, I'd go and see that again in a minute. Yeah, and they got the whole audience engaged, that was what I really loved. The story of Carnaby Street is a 60s story about a musician who hitchhikes down from Liverpool uh, looking for fortune and fame. He's a singer-songwriter who finds his way into the marquee resident band and goes on to become a star. And how his love life changes when he attracts a gorgeous, high-flying Hampstead model who is also from the landed gentry, Lady Jane, and we find out what happens to their romance. Penny Lane is best friend of Jude and she has lots of twists and turns with regards to her love life because she's in love with Jude but he overlooks her which is ridiculous and so then she moves on to someone else and then someone else so that's all fun and there's lots of ups and downs and she's a very fun quirky character who makes lots of friends, gets into trouble, heartache, tragedy, dance moves, jazz hands and spangle. It's amazing. And along the way we sing some swinging 60s hits and we have a great time. Do you love? Do you love? Do you love? I can really burn. Do you love? Do you love me? Now that I can dance. Watch me now. Five years ago, the uh, originating producer, Carl Layton Pope, came to me and said, listen, you've got loads of West End hits. How do you fancy risking it with a new one about the middle of the 1960s and Carnaby Street? In the mid-90s, I was approached by James Hall. He's a singer-songwriter, had written some songs, had found this great logo and the name Carnaby Street and wanted me to produce a musical uh, based entirely on my life, if you like, back in the 60s. My first taste of the music business was in 1964 when I worked in the Marquee Club. Um, I, actually did everything there. I worked on the door and in the cloakroom. And most of the bands there were start-up bands. Bands like The Who, The Moody Blues, uh, Spencer Davis, The Yardbirds, Eric Clapton was in the band then. So these were all young guys who were just starting their career. That was my first real taste of being in the music business. There's a cast of nearly 20 actors, singer musicians. And they're very ably led by Aaron Sidwell, our narrator, who's remembered as playing Stephen Beale in EastEnders, Trisha Aldell Turner from Legally Blonde. We also have Matthew Wycliffe, who's one of the stars of Jersey Boys, and Verita Rushworth, who's from Emmerdale. The experience so far on this show has been very, 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 very fun times. And the audience <laughs> seem to be loving it. All different ages, 20s, 80s, up they get. They're dancing with us. Um, the music um, hits a special place in everybody's hearts, I think, because the 60s music is amazing. And um, the cast are fantastic, so loving it. I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. One character that steals the show across the board is a gentleman who plays Tom Jones. Up there to meet me is my mama and papa. Some of our avid fans have come back to see Tom Jones with certain undergarments that they like to throw on the stage when he comes on. So that's when you know people have seen the show before, when they have their knickers in their pocket and decide to throw them on there. So. Uh, Bring your underwear. <laughs> British and American tobacco prove conclusively there's absolutely, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely no connection between smoking, and <coughs> pardon me, between smoking. Now <coughs> 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 step three, three. You kiss and hold, hold her tight. Yeah, that sure sounds like heaven to me.
We've got a brilliant cast. It's probably the best cast of people I've worked with. So everyone's friendly, everyone's fantastic, everyone is multi-talented. Um, and uh, in especially Verity Rushworth, she's, a, she's astounding yeah. as, a, as, a, as Penny. Yeah, we, we always get a standing ovation every single night. Everyone is up on their feet, they're dancing regardless of their age. Um, and it's just it's so much fun. It's a joy to be on stage singing these songs. I mean, how many are there? There's about 40. 100. 100. One million songs. A million songs. From the 60s. The last show that I was in was Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And there we really had to go in an Australian vibe. And a lot of the people in the show were Australian. So um, I've had to do a lot of different sort of accents in different shows. A lot of the stuff that I've done have been American based. So I did Fame and Greece. At Christmas I did Panto and I had to be a real Cockney geezer. And now I've gone up in the world and uh, I'm a record producer. You and your stupidity have lost you everything. I was able to go back to my British roots. My dad's side of the family is all British, so I talk in a lot more of a sort of RP, whereas I am not from that part of the world and I talk very, very differently. That, my dear boy, is my point. <laughs> What's interesting for me about the 60s is that whatever happened musically during that time, there was definitely a revolution. I know I wrote a line in, in the musical that said, my father looked like my grandfather, but he never looked like me. I think something happened in the 50s that separated us from our parents and our grandparents. And I think that the music that we found in the late 50s and early 60s, the coming of the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, that music still resonates right through to today. Paul McCartney is still gigging. The Rolling Stones are the biggest band in the world. These are all bands from the 60s that still carry that music. So young people uh, are very aware of all of these songs. And most of them are used in movies or in TV commercials. So the, the actual knowledge about the 60s and the music of the 60s is, uh, is something that, that kids grow up with even now, today. These are songs that people, you know, they got, you know, they fell in love with, um, they got married to, um, they've gone and got absolutely drunk to, they uh, had broken hearts to, everything has happened to people with these songs. You know, so when people come and see them being sung live on stage by a young, vibrant cast, um, I think they really enjoy it. And the way the songs make you feel, even if you didn't know them, they make you feel good, because there's a sort of, the rhythm and the bounce and the vibe of the show is sort of swinging, happening in the 60s. It's not sort of, there's never really a lull or a dull moment. Even the ballads are sort of gutsy. So, anyone who had a heart, take in his arms and love it too. So we have a permanent uh, four-piece band on stage looking very Beatle-like, 60s rock band. They're there throughout the show, they're the engine of our show. And together with them, I managed to attract another 14 or 15 active musicians. They all play a bewildering number of instruments. They can sing, they can dance, they can act. And that was the way that we tried to keep the energy and the music seen throughout the whole show. Carnaby Street has a real interactive side. Um, and I think the audience feel like because they're watching a music gig as well as a show, they feel, feel very connected with us on stage as we take them through the journey. Um, and there's one particular moment where um, Mark, who plays Wild Thing, says, We're going to America! It's Pimp! Yay! <laughs> Obviously in the show, it's supposed to come to deaf ears and not have an answer, so he then picked up with, So I'm hearing things again, I tell you. <laughs> no one else? Fine and then carried on with the scene, which is a lot of fun. It's very definitely a document about the 60s and about real life uh, events, happiness, sadness, and the different emotions that people went through during that exciting period, which was, I suppose, a mild revolution of the young. This is sex, drugs, rock and roll, and it's fashion and it's the 60s. If you don't go and fall in love with me, I'll sleep with you tonight. <laughs> Sex is great, but love is rather a drag. And we encourage people to get up and have a good time. Our idea was always, uh, in the words of downtown, was to forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, and go downtown. That was what we were really trying to achieve with this.
you.